Martin, how are you? Hi, I'm Martin, how are you? Fine, what about you? Fine, here. So, let us start with the I'm introduction. Fine. Can you introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm Marlene Johnson. I'm from Kerala. I have done my B.Tech from Vishnu College of Engineering and Technology, Ernakulam. And I have done my M.Tech from Rajagudi School of Engineering and Technology. It is uh, known as RCT. It is also from Ernakulam. And uh, it's both I have done from in my hometown, it's like Kerala. Hmm. Okay, okay. So uh, now, now discuss, uh, like uh, you have mentioned the college for the M.Tech. So like what is the admission process in, in this college, Rajagudi? Uh, this is a private institution actually. So there is even if there is no gate also we can join there. I tried for a, a gate, uh, but uh, I didn't qualify for that thing. So I directly go through the uh, procedures. Like even if you don't need to get also, they, we can join there based on M P T marks. So that mm -hmm. even if you have enough marks means they will take in. So uh, I joined through there that process. The mm -hmm. procedures are easy, easy. Even if you have enough marks means uh, we can join there. Mm -hmm. So, for which company I got selected? Uh, Miracle Technology. Miracle Technology. So, how you got to know about the VLSI for all? Uh, yeah. How you got to know about uh, It is through actually LinkedIn. Uh, uh, LinkedIn. LinkedIn, okay. okay. So, uh, uh, when, I was, uh, when I was in my MTEC third semester, uh, I got to know about uh, VLSI for all. And uh, I started a course, a course there. Uh, its name is like RTL verification and uh, thing. So after going through four months, uh, I studied digital electronics and see where law and UBM. So after that, I go to select to Mirafra Technology. Okay, so how many so, uh, hours you have given years. daily to the studies? How many hours you have given daily to the studies with the MTech? Um, um, actually, I was doing parallel with my MTech last year. So, uh, uh, for me, like uh, three hours. Three hours. Really. Uh, for a day, I spent three hours for this thing. Yeah. So, yeah. what was the selection process for the company? How many rounds were there for the Mirafra Technologies? Uh, I go through like one technical round. And uh, they asked about digital electronics, uh, very log, SV. And at that time, uh, UVM I'm not at com com completed. So whatever things I studied, they asked. So then, uh, after that, then uh, there is one HR round. That's it. Okay, okay, got it. So next, uh, uh, can you discuss about the teachers and the course work at VLSF for all? How was it? Course work um, and teachers. Actually, uh, it was really, yeah, uh, it's really good actually. Uh, I have started from digital electronics. Uh, they were recorded videos and uh, I studied recorded videos of digital electronics and very long. I go to the live classes for SP and uh, UVM. So uh, even if it is recorded, it also help me a lot. When I, when I have enough time means I go through it and I come it. There were more than uh, 18 national classes for everything, for every topic. So that uh, digital electronics completely covers every topic in in that area so it is really sufficient for the digital electronics well also i feel like uh, it, is, it is really enough for the basics that we are covering from very local in sv uh, and uvm i attended the live classes and uh, i heard the video so even it is also for a uh, non knowing the language person uh, it is efficient like uh, they will go through every topic and they will get some knowledge about everything it's not like deep depth knowledge. If we have depth knowledge, not, 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 we have to work on it. When you can go through uh, videos, we will get to get five. And after that, the other like platforms. So after that, we will get depth knowledge. Oh. It's really helpful for me uh, to study. Oh, also, like, uh, uh, like you are from Kerala, right? So language was the barrier for you? Yeah. Oh, language no, was uh, like every class is in English only. Yeah, I get all uh, even, English. Even uh, classes only in English. So they didn't talk much Hindi like that. So I didn't feel anything much. Yeah. Like that. Yeah, yeah. So update class, like uh, what What was the concept? How was the concept of update class at VLSI for all? 
like regularly we have the uh, update class in update class means uh, yeah regularly we will have so that uh, in that class we will tell about uh, how much portions we will cover that week so that uh, they will get an idea means by which our portions we will stuck and uh, they will uh, clarify the doubts wherever we are going through it and uh, we can ask through the doubts and they will clear at the time itself so mm -hmm. uh, wherever we are stuck in we will get an idea and we can go through that thing there will not be any delay for that thing so even if we get uh, complete every courses also they will uh, they will ask like uh, did you get the placement or not or which companies you are trying to uh, apply like that they will ask and it is really helpful to them uh, everyone like that uh, they were uh, like inquiring about everything like what we are doing now mm -hmm. so that until we get placement they will uh, search everything and they will uh, come with us i feel it's mm -hmm. very good how was the resume making and the resume like rechecking uh, how was the, like at villa safar all uh, i feel like um, i didn't uh, make any much uh, good resume at mm -hmm. first so that uh, sir gave me one example for resume so that uh, for based on that example we will uh, make one resume and uh, uh, it is very Uh, helpful to guiding to that every person because even if we study different concepts also without good resume it's difficult to impress them so that yeah. uh, they will uh, give a good resume like example so that we can make make pink up around resumes like that and we can apply for that thing it is really good they will check mm -hmm. after that what we are return and they will tell like that okay based on this you can do this use okay. that thing Uh, how was the Premium Job Group useful for you? Like uh, job groups, jobs were coming in that group. How frequently the jobs were coming? Ah, uh, yeah. Every week, ah, uh, every day there will be. Ah, uh, even uh, if we have job vacancies, means so we will post that on the group. So that ah, uh, I have applied on like ah uh, three to four days after. Like after three to four days, whatever things ah uh, companies will be join in the list, so that I will apply within the ah uh, three to four day gap. Like so weekly that, uh, basis, I would say uh, weekly basis. Ah, uh, yeah, weekly basis. I will apply that every day. I didn't get the time, so oh. that I will uh, check on like that, and I will apply by day by day basis. Mm -hmm. Now discuss about the mock interviews. Have you gone mock interviews? No. Okay. Actually, I didn't go through yeah. that before. That yeah. I yeah. went through. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. So how is the concept of mock interviews? It is you useful for the student or wastage of time? No, it is really useful because uh, they will get to know that thing is uh, which level we are up to and what things we want to improve at that time. So that uh, it will we will get a clear idea of uh, where are we up to and what things we are want to improve. Mm -hmm. So I feel like uh, it is really good. We can evaluate ourselves like uh, which things we want to improve for our next interview. So I feel Now like it's very good. Now discuss about the fees. Is it affordable or not? Fees is affordable. Yeah, it is really affordable. Uh, it's only twenty five thousand I paid, uh, and uh, even through pay like three installments. Uh, so uh, it is really affordable. Even that's not uh, not high much amount because even for the CTC it will be anyway higher than that. so that yeah. after getting job also we can compensate it. That's not an issue. Yeah, obviously. So. Uh... It is VLSA for all trustable brand or like it is like it is online platform. It can be fraud also. So how is it? Like it is trustable or not according to you? Yeah, it is really trustable for me because uh, the first time I'm uh, choosing one platform like this, so uh, it it gives me hundred percent assurance because uh, from uh, attend uh, attending classes everything we don't um, the only thing we need to get take care of like that we don't cheat other. Like screen recording things, that things we don't do because um, it's like a paid right, so that we don't cheat others. So our avoiding our that and we want to study our own things, we want to do our own things. So that's it. So if we do like our own things properly, means it is a good platform for everyone. Yeah. Uh, everyone is doing their own good right, so that we should focus our own things. That's it. Yeah. No obviously. need to cheat anything. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, how how many ratings out of five you will be give to the like overall course or get a bill as a parole? Four point eight. Yeah. So now you want to refer some of your juniors also to the bill as a parole? Yeah, actually, I referred some of my colleagues, uh, like my M Tech colleagues itself, okay. and uh, they are here joined and uh, they trained guide 
even if i get chances meet after i join verapra also so many people talk to me which one is the best one so i prefer to them like uh, go for this one i got from this so you can also choose this yeah i so yeah so what is your future plan like uh, you want to go for the psg or something or you want to remain in the job only actually i didn't plan that like that i yeah. just joined one year before so that uh, after getting some experience uh, if i get a chance to do phd i will go for it uh, otherwise i will continue like this i am not at plan for that thing mm -hmm. if i get uh, get good score means i will go for phd also right now recession is going on so according to you what the student should do like uh, they should up upgrade their skills or should wait for the right time or what they should do uh sorry can you say again? right now right now recession is going on what should the vlsi student who is preparing for the vlsi jobs what they should do like they should wait for the right time or they should up skills their 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 knowledge and get the job whatever they are getting or what according to you what they should do uh i feel like uh, the languages here they were teaching like it enough actually uh, the for the basic they were teaching which like tronics state log sp uvm if you learn these four languages means it's enough to get into real estate industry actually but uh, uh, some people they need for like uh, even if you first point uh, after some experience right they will ask some depth questions right so that it's not only needed basic for experience means they will ask some much questions so they yeah. will want to prepare some depth also yeah absolutely. so they want to work we would gain more knowledge than we uh, mm -hmm. for the, for basic it's enough actually it's more than yeah. enough for the basic uh, basic people to attend into the real estate industry is there any it's like good. use useful to wait for the right time or like uh, is it worth it to wait for uh, the long time because, like uh, even six, six, six i feel one. like so it is not useful right yeah i feel like uh, maybe the time is uh, maybe we, we want to wait for the right time Yeah. Because uh, every time there will not be much recruitment happening. But if you are so not, that, to, uh, like to, if you are not upgrading uh, yourself, improve, improve our skills. Yeah. If you are not upgrading yourself and you are wasting your time, that is not something recommended, right? If you are upgrading yourself and obviously waiting for the right time, that is recommended. Uh, but yeah. wasting your time, it is not recommended. Also, you have some motivational tip yeah. for the student. Yeah. So, like, any motivational tips for the student? any motivational motivation means much motivational videos but uh, we can watch motivational videos but even if it didn't work means it will not help so yeah. that first we should think about ourselves like uh, we should live we, we should crack this thing we should think about that thing in our mind and we should start uh, if everyone will say like that means nothing about think before work means we should not give the mind to think like Uh, don't put it to another time like that. So that yeah. do that time itself. It's the better yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. I feel like framing like without working hard obviously is not useful, right? So yeah. So thank you, Marlene. Thank you so much for your time. All the best. Bye. Bye. Take care. Thank you. Good night.